Hello folks and welcome back to the Chaps Guide, the channel where we talk about men's style, self-development and any tips that can help you in your journey to being the best chap that you can be. Now today I'm in Northamptonshire. Uh, in fact it's a bit of a coincidence I'm here. I've been attending a conference in Burton-on-Trent for the last three days and I need to get to Milton Keynes for a business meeting tomorrow. So I'm going to spend the night in Bedfordshire in a hotel but in between those two destinations lies the city or town, whatever it is, I'm not sure, of Northamptonshire. Now, if you enjoy men's quality footwear, you'll know that Northamptonshire is something of the epicenter of the manufacture of, of men's and ladies, I guess, uh, quality footwear and has been for well over 100 years, probably 150 years and more. Uh, and as a consequence of that, there are some fantastic factory outlets and shops relating to men's footwear in Northamptonshire and the surrounding areas. So planning in advance, I looked up some of these factory shops for my journey and uh, on my way I've called into the Loke factory shop, I've called into the Cheney factory shop in Ket Kettering and as I say now I'm in Northamptonshire and the building you see just behind me, I'll just alter the, the angle of the camera a little, that big building you can see behind me or just a portion of it is in fact the church factory and that's right in the middle of Northamptonshire. Bizarrely for a, a manufacturing base today it's in the middle of you know a bustling town so uh, whereas most places will have migrated to the sort of outskirts where there's more real estate and parking and things for the staff uh, church are in the middle of town. So to start off on my, my, my visits, I called into the Loke factory shop. Now I've been a Loke fan for a long time, predominantly because it's cost effective. You know, Loke isn't super expensive, but they're relatively good quality British made shoes. The factory's in Kettering, which isn't too far from here. So I called into one of their outlet stores and uh, I have to say it was well presented. I'll, I'll throw some pictures up on the screen for you to see and the uh, people in the store were very interesting to talk to. They told me all about the Loke history, the fact that it was founded you know, in 1880 by three brothers and it's still in family ownership today. So they're very proud of their, their heritage back at Loke. And in the store itself, I mean, it wasn't an uh, overwhelming selection of choice, bearing in mind the majority of footwear in that store are either imperfect so they've come off the off the factory line and they've been graded as not top quality not to be sold as first class so they're placed into the outlet store and sold as imperfect and I have to say the girl showed me some of these shoes there and they were the most nearest of blemishes so you know it's not like you're buying something with a big lump missing out of it or, or a damaged um, hide leather or whatever it's the the most slightest imperfection in the stitching or something like that um, or it's end of line stuff so where they've finished a, uh, a line of manufacture whatever's left at the end which you know they've they've not been able to sell out to the retailers because they've stopped producing it they sell off in their outlet stores now by and large there was a fairly good selection um, all ranged in in sizes and uh, you know I'm wearing a pair of Burford boots from Loke at the moment and I saw some of the uh, the boots that I've got on now which were on sale slightly annoying because they were at least half price and I paid full price for these when I bought them sort of three years ago uh, so no arguments there but still if you're interested in buying something which is up to half price and you're prepared to go sort of imperfect or end of line it's an option for you so following on from that on my journey I stopped off at the Cheney factory now Cheney is, you know, it's been in manufacture since the late 1800s and it's a bizarre place. It's, it's in the middle of a sort of residential area. There are terraced houses all around it and then you get this, this sort of relatively large factory occupying quite a big unit. It's a listed building, so the chaps told me inside. And just across the street from it, there's a factory outlet shop. And uh, I have to say inside, it was lovely uh, appointed. There were loads of their shoes laid out. Again, either factory seconds or they were shoes which had been ex um, demonstration models where they'd been on display in shops and they were selling them off. And there were some exclusive shoes in there which were only available in that shop, which were perfect. Um, you know, they've either been practicing on them, perhaps when they've been looking to decide what ranges they want to bring out or, or other reasons. But I have to say, nothing wrong with the stuff that was there and uh, lovely two chaps working there they gave me loads of their time we had a conversation talked about shoes talked about Cheney, told me all about the factory 
you know there's 150 people working in the factory at every any given time um, you know and it was very very traditional looking and very you know it had heritage uh, written all over it now Chini shoes are great I think I own a pair of their uh, checker boots I had them for five six years and they have been absolute top quality um, and they had some lovely things on display and they were all at least half price so if you want to buy a pair of shoes uh, from Chini and you know you're prepared to go for imperfect or make the journey to the factory shop you can be in a fantastic position to make a killing so if you're going to buy a pair of shoes there you know definitely worth that journey and uh, you know you just got to look across the road to the factory where it's being made your shoes are being made not more than 50 yards away so it's fantastic when it comes to the the artisan workmanship which is going on there and the chap said you know in some cases they've been grandparents husbands wives and their children all working in that factory all at the same time so really family affair um, and definitely worth visiting if you're thinking about getting into a pair of chini shoes and you're anywhere near Northampton. Now, leaving Cheney, I thought one more place to stop at on my journey, and I called into here, uh, Northamptonshire, or Northampton itself, the town, city, whatever it is, uh, and behind me is Church. Now, Church, I think, are probably the main players when it comes to quality men's footwear. Um, there's about 300 people working in the factory behind me, and it's on an entirely different scale to Cheney, much larger, much more industrialized, and as I walked around the building, you know, the windows were open, some of the doors were open, you could see into the, into the work area, and there are guys manufacturing those famous shoes, uh, you know, working away on the lasts, and, uh, you know, the radio on, you can hear the, the, the hammers, you know, tapping away at nails and things like that, very atmospheric. Again, tradition and heritage written all over it, and uh, it strikes me as being, you know, a very classy place where they're turning out some fantastic products. Now the factory outlet store here, again, very similar. You can tell it's not um, you know, commercialized as such. It truly is a place where they're liquidating imperfect shoes. And again, shoes that are at end of line. Some of the other products they have, you know, belts, bags, other leather products, which are also manufactured here. Um, the two young ladies in there working, again, chatted for about five or 10 minutes. Really good display of their more, more common things. But the truth is you never really know what's going to be in the store because you know they don't know what's not going to be perfect when it's inspected at the quality control stage of the manufacturing process so when you turn up don't be surprised if there's only a limited amount of, uh, of, of stock on display because you really don't know what's going to be there prices under half price you know round about half price um, and I think if you spend over 500 pounds there's an extra 20% off so if you're buying you know perhaps two pairs or you know whatever you can really uh, make a killing uh, so there are some fantastic uh, deals to be had in churches and again worth I, I can only recommend it and say that if you are passing through Northamptonshire and you are interested in getting into a quality pair of high-class men's shoes and you're prepared to spend 250 to 400 pounds opposed to twice that if you were to buy them in a retail outlet in say London or another city it's well worth making that effort uh, and you know you won't be disappointed if you get lucky you might find the pair of shoes that you want or if you're prepared to compromise there's obviously all different types in there which will be on offer so um, and I've only looked at three of the outlets you know I've looked at Cheney and Loke and Church there's also Crockett and Jones there's Grenson there's Trickers there's John Lobb Gaziano and Girling, to name just but a few you know and they're all available uh, they all have factory stores it's worth looking in advance to see when they're open because not all of them are open every day. Um, I noticed that Crockett and Jones are only open, I think, on Fridays and weekends. Uh, churches here, big, you know, big place, a lot of products in there. They're open every day. Uh, Cheney's open every day of the week. Um, so well worth having a look in advance. They've all got good websites. They'll tell you where they are and worth visiting if you want to make a killing. So I hope you've enjoyed coming with me or at least listening to my uh, journey through Northamptonshire and the surrounding areas where possibly the best men's footwear in the world are made to measure. And uh, if you have, please give me the like, the, the like button. Also click the subscribe so you don't miss any of the future material we put out there. And leave me a comment if you've got some tips and advice about getting into quality men's shoes a little bit cheaper, because that's what we're all about on this channel, the value proposition, squeezing every penny from each pound that we spend is important to us here at the Chaps Guide. So I look forward to seeing you again soon. And until then, stay sharp, be safe.